Hi, my name is Jade, and this is How to App on iOS, and I hope you're doing okay. Today we are wrapping up my three-part series with the third and final episode looking at One Shot by Clev Grand, because it's awesome. So let's oge! Clev Grand's One Shot drum sampler is finally on the iPad, and I love it. It's packed full of incredible drum sounds, and you can import and create your own drum kits, create instruments, use multi-outs, and it's a breeze to use with an electronic drum kit. In episode one and two, I took you through all of the kits and in-app purchases, then did a full walkthrough. You can click on the card above or find the link in the description for those episodes. But today we will be looking at setting up a multi-out drum kit in Logic Pro and using your electronic drum kit with OneShot. It's available on the App Store at the time of this recording at 33% off for $19.99 until September 30th, 2024. This is an iPad only app and is 100% AUV3 compatible. Now let's talk about those in-app purchases. Here we are at clevgrand.com and all you need to do is go to the store and then scroll all the way down to the bottom till you find extensions and you can find the drum kits here. The Jazz Kit, $39.99 the Unholy Metal Drums for $39.99, the Kalimba, the Glockenspiel, uh, $12.99 and $9.99, and the Cajon for $9.99. Now, there is a code I've placed in the description down below, and you can get 50% off using that code at the checkout until the 30th of September 2024. Now, let's get into today's demo. Okay, to start off today, we're going to try and connect my Alesis Nitro Mesh Pro over here to my right to One Shot by Clevgrand as a standalone. Why would I do it as a standalone first? Well, you may want to practice your drums. So it's dead easy to do. Just head up here to the top, select MIDI and select a source and you will find your Alesis Nitro down here. Select it and it is connected and ready to go. Now we need, well, we'll check and then we'll hit the drums and... So we've got some kind of movement over here. You can see the keys. There's some kind of connection there. That's great. So now let's connect a drum kit over here. And we're going to use the, uh, let's do the Unholy Drums and the Clev Sugar. Now let's try hitting some things. Hey! Kick drum. Yep. What about this cymbal? No, there's nothing happening over here. So you can see over here, down here, you can see that this is the key that's being hit. But our symbol is over here, I think. That's the one we want. Because that's the other one over here. So that's this. Now we're going to want to move this over here. So let's do that now. I'm going to use my finger for this. Come back over here. I'm going to grab this, hold down, and then drag it to that position. Yep, that worked. So now we come back over here to our drums. Hey. Nice. All right, I'm going to put myself on mute and we'll play some time and make sure it's all kind of working. And let's go over there now. Well, that's enough. There's that a terrible performance there. It doesn't really matter, but I'm trying to bounce back and forth from my chair and over there. It's a little bit hard, so give me some, uh, some uh, overlook that, yeah? All right, so there you go. That's all set up. Now let's take a look at setting up multi-outs in Logic. Let's oge. So here we are in Logic, and let's create a brand new project. And we're going to create a track and select MIDI over here. Good. We're all good to go. Now let's hit our instrument and you'll see over here we've got one shot. And now when you first do a search for it, let me just show you this. If you do one shot, you're not going to find it, right? Because it's a multi out, uh, they don't show up for some reason in, in the uh, section. So you're going to have to scroll down to instruments and then find Clevgrand like so. 
Clever Grand, and you'll see anything with an arrow next to it normally means it's a multi-out, so you'll have to select it from here. And this is where you select multi-out instead of stereo. Now that's selected, we can go ahead and set up a multi-out. So let's just kill this keyboard here, and we'll bring up our mixer. And uh, we'll swipe this all the way up to the top, and we're going to go into edit mode up the top here. And what we need to do is create, I don't know, eight sends. So all you need to do is select the plus on sends, hit bus, create a brand new bus, and we need to do this, as I said, eight times. So create eight new buses. Now you can go back and rename these if you want or do any of that kind of stuff. We're creating auxiliaries here. So just keep going. We've got four now, five. Yes, please. This is the fastest way to do it, in my opinion. And uh, there we go. Six, a new bus, seven and eight. So we'll just do eight for now. That's all good. And we're going to swipe down here. And this is what we want to do next. So along all of these buses, we want to click on each one of them and then say, go to instrument and choose three and four and go along and uh, replace these with five and six. Bus three will be seven and eight. Bus four will be nine and 10. Bus five will be 11 and 12. Bus six will be 13, 14, seven, of course is 15, 16, and eight will be 17, 18. So, we're not done yet because now we have to go in and we have to align these uh, kits. We have to send the multi outs from within one shot. So let's open up one shot and we need to create a kit. So now that we've got a kit here, let's find, we'll go again, we'll use our unholy drums. We'll use undead soul this time. I'm just going to remove this for now because what we need to do is make sure our kit is connected like we did in the standalone. So I've got my sticks. And let's make sure everything's connected. Again, this symbol's not connecting. You're going to find that with every kit you do here. Now, I might want to be a little bit different this time. Come over here. And instead of adding, let's just bring up our keyboard and uh, scroll across here. I might want to add this flashy thing here. Yeah, we might want to do this. So um, let's, where are we? We'll scroll across here and we want this one. Yeah. So what do we got? So we can take this F here, this one there, grab it. Oops. Grab it there and drag it in. So now when we head back over to our kit, we've got a crash here. Great, everything's working as planned. So let's put those sticks back there. Come back over here. Now we can start organizing our multi-outs, yeah? So let's do that this way. Now we've got them all set. Now we just need to work out our kicks. So obviously our kick's gonna be, so we can see it's lighting up here. This is our kick. So we need to click here where we have our mains out. And I'm gonna choose two. So that is now going to our first one. We need to find a snare next. Yep, so it's this one here. And that's there. We're going to go main out to number three. What do we do next? We do our open hat. We need to find this. Where's this open hat? So what I'm going to do is just scroll up until we find it. So it's this one here, you can see it ring. I'm gonna pump up the volume a little bit on it as well. And this is going to be number four. So that's our open hat. I'm gonna close, stand on the pedal and find our closed hat. And that's up here. So it's this one here. And we're gonna set this, what was that one, two, three, four, I think to five. Yeah, I think that's right. We had four, five, Yep, four, five. Now, let's do some toms. So I'm gonna scroll up, find this tom. There's our first tom. Let me just move my hair out of the way so it's not hitting the mic. And we're gonna change this one to number six. Next tom. That one's over here. 
So we'll change that to seven. And um, what else? Should we do our third tom? We've got a ride. Is, we'll do a crash. We'll do a crash next. So let's uh, hit our crash. We'll find that. There it is. It's this one here. And we'll make that number eight. Give that a little bit more volume. And now we'll do our ride last. We'll just add a ride. So that's next door here. And um, we'll change this to number nine. And now we should have the whole kit all mapped. So we'll kill out this, kill this out, and bring up our mixer. And when I run through the keys here, the hits, you should be able to see. Awesome. Now I'm going to mute this first track, right? Because we're getting double up. Awesome. So they're all, you can see, coming across here now. So if I hit record on this, these are all going to be out in separate buses. So we're going to do that. I'm going to, um, let's first go in here. We'll just change this to, I don't know, 100. Yeah, so there's our tempo set to 100. We'll put the click track on. We'll arm this track. So it's all armed and ready to go. And I'm going to mute my mic and head over to the drum kit so you can see everything everything going at the same time. I'll mute my mic and I'm not going to play anything fancy so don't get uh, excited. Okay, so it's all coming out. We'll hit record and see how that goes. Okay, let's come back over here now. And we've got these drums in here. Now you can see that they were muted there. Um, now I'll throw my stick, sticks on the floor. And uh, if we play this back, keep it muted. You should see along here, everything played in separate tracks. Let's go, I'll turn off record. Uh, firstly, you know what? Let's do this first. <laughs> let's make sure we do a quantize because that was terrible. Uh, let's go in and hit quantize. We'll do like a 16th note. And uh, let's hit play and see how we go. Pretty damn cool. Awesome stuff. All right, now, if you want to save yourself time, if you, you've gone in and set up your drums and set them all up with the, the electronic kit so they've all been mapped, remember, you can come in here and open up this and you can hit these three dots up here and you can save this as a preset, yeah? So if we come in, we call it like a, a Lesis uh, demo and hit OK. We should have all that mapping saved. So the next time you want to do this, you can come over here um, we want to go this section here and you should be able to go to my uh, instrument patches. Is, is it instrument patches? I can't remember. Is it audio patches? It's one of them. Uh, did I save them? Inst plug in presets. There we go. Is that it? User. And here you go. Alesis demo. So you'll keep all your stuff mapped up there. So the next time you load it, you should be good. If I load this metal kit, now this isn't going to be mapped. Uh, because this was from another demo, but that is how you can save all your... Oh, it is mapped. This one's mapped as well too. So if I come over here and hit that, that pesky uh, crash that's never really... 
and it's not done. Oh, it's because it's muted. Look. Because I saved it, it already has down here, all the mapping has been retained. So once you get your kit organized and you've done some mapping, you can just save the preset and come back to it at any time. Also, let's jump out of here for a second and just show you one more thing. This is aside from, uh, from one shot. Let's just kill this project and create a brand new project. The same thing applies for any other drum app that may have uh, multi out. So if we hit MIDI here and go to instrument and you can see here, I've got digi sticks. Again, digi sticks has multi out. You can see even the drum kit designer that comes in logic has multi out. So you can do this as well and go in and do the exact same process as what you saw me do over here by adding all the buses. You can go and do that exactly the same as you would with uh, what we did with one shot. So yeah, and just remember, if you're searching for a drum app in Logic, unfortunately, and you have never opened it up before, and it has multi out, you probably won't find it from a search. Just go and find the developer in there and uh, then select multi out. So all right, that is uh, the end of this series. Let's wrap up and get out of here. Let's oge. So that was my three-part series for One Shot by Clevgrand. I've made the entire series available as a playlist in the description below. You can grab One Shot for the iPad at 33% off for $19.99 until September 30, 2024. And the in-app purchases can be found at clevgrand.com. Remember to use the code down in the description. Are you enjoying the content here on the channel? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below and by smashing a like, hitting that subscribe and ringing the bell to keep up with all of the latest app demos and live streams. You can also become a member for $1 a month or a Patreon to get your songs mastered and win some cool apps. Okay, let's get out of here. And remember, do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better and we'll all rise together. Stay awake and let's urge. <laughs> <laughs>